What's up guys, Quick Sample here, aka Jake, and today I am bringing you a Discovery Domination game. Um, Discovery is one of the maps from the, the new map pack, the First Strike map pack, and I'm pretty much going to give you a rundown of pretty much how you want to play this map, or at least how I've decided to play this map. Um, they've added a little bit of colour in this map, you know, I, Treyarch seem to always make snow look kind of a little bit terrible, but uh, they've added the, the Northern Lights, I think that's what they're called, um, in the background, which kind of add a little bit of an effect to it, and... Uh, you know, but in this game I was pretty much playing the objective, you know, I wasn't doing too well playing uh, the actual game, I wasn't doing too well getting really great scores, and, and, and uh, I was dying quite a bit, and I, I died ten times in this game, which, uh, you know, for the second time playing this map, I didn't think it was too bad, so I just decided I was going to go ahead and just play the objective, and you see I just keep rushing B until we uh, we eventually switch to spawns, and I decide otherwise uh, I'm not going to be able to get spawn unless I, unless I take out the enemy team who are pretty much watching over spawn. Um, so one of the things that you wanna you wanna do is you definitely wanna get some guys who are going straight for B, and you can see that most of my team is actually trying to trying to push for B, which is something that uh, I don't really see a lot of um, random people doing. But it seems that these guys just kept pushing it with me, and I was uh, it was this was like late last night, so I wasn't actually talking to any of them at all. I didn't know anyone in this game. I just thought I'd I'd run into a domination game and, and see what I could do. I did the same on uh, Kaloons. I've got a game on that map coming pretty soon. But you see these guys up here. Uh, to the right of me now. They're all waiting and they're all, they've got a pretty much pretty good vantage point over B, which means we couldn't capture unless I went ahead and, uh, and took all these guys out. And uh, you see that I, uh, in a little bit in the game, I do take the advantage of that little spot over there. I like to, you know, post up there when they're trying to take B. And as soon as I finish taking those guys out, I'm straight on B again. Uh, but there's a guy sat in that back building, which you seem to get a lot of this map. There's two, um, there's two main buildings at the back of each spawn, which you can see pretty much straight down to B. Uh, which uh, I have to admit, I can see it getting kind of annoying because I've I've played twice on this map and twice there's been a sniper who's just been half scoping at B constantly, doesn't stop looking down his sight or whatnot. But I'm using the FAMAS here, and uh, you guys know that I I, I don't enjoy the FAMAS, but uh, I didn't have any other guns. You know, I, I was a low rank and I was just I was using the FAMAS, and um, the, the I've got no attachments on it, which I actually found I found pretty good actually. I, it kind of I don't know, it just kind of felt like it was an easier gun to use with no attachments at all. Um, I have a silencer on it now when I use it because uh, I like to stay off the radar as much as possible. As you can see, I'm using Ghost as well because I'm trying to go for all the pro perks. I'm actually going for uh, Tactical Mask Pro at the moment as well because I know that that is a great perk for, for Search and Destroy. Uh, even though it kind of takes away your ninja. Um, but I, I don't really think I can hear people anyway these days. You know, I, don't, I know that they've... they've uh, they patched it so you can hear people, but apparently Ninja Pro doesn't work either now, so um, hopefully they figure that lot out soon, but I just don't feel as though headset is as uh, as useful as it was in, in say, Modern Warfare 2 or, or Call of Duty 4. Uh, but you see now we've taken B, and the way that we took B was the enemy took A and C, which turned all the attentions away from B, and me and a teammate were able to jump onto, jump onto B and take the flag pretty easily. Um, so. Th there's two like major spawns in this. There's one by A and one by C, obviously. But uh, the, the spawns around there are quite spread out. You know, if you uh, you can push pretty far into the spawn without them actually switching. Um, I think I do it two or three times in this map. We we kind of have them pretty much locked down at A, and I have found that A is the is the easiest place to spawn trap. At least I think it's A. Uh, yeah, it's A. It's the uh, one that we have now. It's pretty much the easiest place to spawn trap at. Um, well, that's what I found anyway. But you know, the enemy's taking back B now, and I'm I'm trying to push into their spawn, hoping that our teammates will at least try and jump on it. And I'm just trying to take out all the people who've got the vantage point again. Uh, they like to make their way up here so that they can take advantage of B of the uh, the B flag and make sure that no one get back on it. Because it seems like on these new maps, you know, B is is a uh, is easy to get but hard it's hard to get and very easy to lose so you know you really have to keep uh, keep a guy always on B watching the flags and uh, you know I don't really play as a party when I play domination we usually just you know just chill and just try and get loads of kills but um, when I'm playing on my own I really do play the objective I, I, I try my hardest to to make sure I win uh, if I'm not gonna do well in a game if I'm not gonna get loads of, loads of kills and uh, not so many deaths I'm not gonna get a really great gameplay like that then I'm gonna make sure that I win the game and that uh, it doesn't, you know, I don't want to feel like I'm being the guy that I hate, who, who I always moan about, a guy who goes like 20 and like 30, who caps like one flag and defends none, 
I like to be the guy that if I'm going, if I ever do go like seriously negative, I like to have a lot of captures and a lot of defends. And I, I think I end up with two captures and, uh, and five defends on this one, which I didn't think was too bad considering the two captures that I did make. Uh, you see one at the beginning, which was B, and the second one was B, which you've just seen there. Um, I think I make some pretty good captures, and um, any other flag that I do capture, I don't really. Uh, I make sure that my teammates are on it. I look around, make sure there's enough teammates on it. If there is, then I move away and make sure. Um, but if they decide that they want to run away as well, I'll, I'll be the first to run back and try and take that flag because, you know, taking flags in this game, you, I don't play domination too much lately because I, I just don't seem to ever get a team who, who is willing to capture flags. But these guys I was playing with in this game, they seem to, they seem to know what they were doing. They seem to, um, I don't know, maybe they just enjoy capturing flags because I know dominating a team, um, it, it makes it. It helps you feel a little bit better about the game, you know. If you if you're completely dominating the enemy team and there's nothing they can do about it, you know they've got them spawn trapped, you know they have one flag. Um, there's not really much that the enemy team can do about it, and I I think I made the mistake here of pushing way too far into their spawn. And uh, you see they they begin to spawn up here, which you know the spawns don't really switch too much, you know they'll they'll always spawn pretty close to you. You see the the Ronnie spawning just down the way here now, and I think this guy takes me out. Yeah, I knew he was there, but uh, I didn't see his teammate, so uh, I tend to. When I'm playing this game, I tend to not look around too much. I tend to uh, just run straight in and not really think about what's gonna, what the consequences are gonna be. Um, I think I'm kind of a smart player, but uh, I do have lack of judgment where I just, you know, just run in and um, I like to keep the gameplay as entertaining. But you know, sometimes I, I'm no Mac J. I'm telling you that now. You know, that guy he can run around, capture points, and pretty much just dominate an enemy team. But you know. Uh, a lot of times you see him playing with a lot of uh, his friends who are pretty good as well. So, you know, I think playing with a good party will make gameplays a lot better. But if you're playing on your own like this, um, it kind of can make your gameplays a little bit, you know, you have to try a little bit harder to take out. I was pretty much doing everything in this game. I was trying to kill the enemy and take the flags as much as possible, defend flags. Because, um, like I said, my teammates were trying, but they, I don't think they were really too... They weren't trying too hard, you know. They were they were just kind of casually trying to you know, jump on flags whenever they were there, you know. But if it, they wouldn't go out of the way to capture a flag, and I think you know, I have the tendency to when I'm playing a game, if I if I know it's going well, I tend to have a tendency of, of start commentating it in my head, like thinking about you know what I'm going to say when I'm actually playing the game, and I kind of lose uh, lose my concentration quite easily when I'm playing Call of Duty. So I don't tend to you know, I don't like to sit in one place, and 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 uh, this is the the spot that I was talking about. You have a great um, view of B flag from up here, which I think this spot, if this ever became a uh, an MLG variant game type where you uh, played MLG on this on this map, then it would that would definitely be a spot that people would be sat up in with you know with a FAMAS or you know uh, uh, a Galil or whatever gun you you feel like you're most comfortable with, um, because this game is definitely uh, everyone has a different feel for a gun. You know, personally, I I feel like I. Um, I don't, I don't feel too comfortable using the the FAMAS, but um, I've heard people that say they don't feel too comfortable using the Galil, but I can use that gun uh, pretty much whenever I see one and I haven't got it, I'll pick it up because that is probably my favourite gun. And uh, you see a couple of seconds ago, uh, I heard they were taking B, so I turned around straight away and threw a, a stun straight on that on that flag. Now, you know, even if you don't run in there and take out the guy, uh, try and make sure that you can you can stun him because if you, he's out in the open, that stun hits him. You know, he can't move. And hopefully one of your teammates is going to kill him, or you know you'll be able to you'll be able to pull off the shot and get him. But uh, I just want to pretty much start doing this more often now. I want to start giving tips about the gameplay and stuff now um, when it comes down to Call of Duty because it seems like people these days have just kind of resorted to talk about anything, and you just hear a lot of ums and ahs, and you know a lot of guys laughing to themselves about things that you you really don't want to hear. You know, I know that YouTube started off, you know, it, people started off making videos about how to help the community get better. And Black Ops is a new game, and you know there are different types of players. You know, not everyone's as um, not everyone's as good as each other. And pay attention to your radar, dude. Seriously, um, that's definitely one thing that you want to be doing as well. You don't want to be be that guy with flat jacket there who who just really was not paying attention to his, his radar at all because I was in the room with him. Um, I shot right behind him. I don't have a silencer, so there's definitely uh, no reason for him not to be paying attention to his radar and turning around and taking me out. But um, you, you get guys like that in this game, you know, you get guys like that in any game, um, but sometimes you come up against guys who uh, who just want to push flags, and these guys on the enemy team, they did really want to push the flag, and we, they have A and C right now, so I make sure that I'm straight onto B and making sure that I'm trying to defend it, and as soon as I die, I, I run straight back uh, down the middle of the map, 
either to take A with this guy or uh, to move straight over and take B. But I think I end up going back because I want to go round because you never want to run too far straight into the middle of the spawn. Um, but I think our teammates are taking C right now, so you know I decided that I'm going to jump on B and make sure you know no one's on it. Um, just kind of defend it as much as I can. Just take a quick look because sometimes in this game uh, the game has a tendency not to tell you that people are taking flags, uh, which can be a little bit annoying, but. Uh, the gameplay is coming to an end now, so I knew that we'd won by now. Uh, so I just decided I was going to jump on A. And uh, and the game ends just now, so I hope you guys have enjoyed the gameplay. I hope you've had a, a, a nice little tips gameplay, and I expect to see more.